Hi, my name is Jake, and I am a bookish drummer. So for this video, I'm going to be ranking the short stories in Stephen King's short story collection just after sunset. This is his fifth short story collection, and honestly, it's one of my favorites. Night Shift is still my favorite, and then this one and Skeleton Crew are like right up there. I think this one gets the slight edge over Skeleton Crew, even though Skeleton Crew has some obvious heavy hitters. This one is just really good throughout. There's not really any bad stories in here. There might be a couple of forgettable ones, but overall this one has been one of my favorites for a long time. We recently reread it for the Stephen King Short Story Book Club. And speaking of the Stephen King Short Story Book Club, we're actually going to be starting The Bazaar of Bad Dreams, which is his sixth and final short story collection until the new one comes out in 2024, I think in May. Uh, we're going to be starting this on January 8th. So if you're interested in buddy reading these short stories, go join the Bookish Drummer Discord. There'll be a link down below. And if you haven't heard of the book club or you're not sure how it works, we essentially read one or two short stories a week and we comment them, comment on them and see what we think about them. And usually at the end, I'll ask everybody to like say what their favorites are, their least favorites, and I will usually do a ranking video like I'm doing with Just After Sunset. So if you're interested in joining us, uh, the link down below for the Bookish Drummer Discord. And this will actually end in May, which coincidentally is right before Stephen King's newest short story collection, which I'm very excited for, You Like It Darker. It comes out, I don't know the exact date, but it's coming out in like late May. And I'm super excited because it's been a long time since we've gotten a short story collection from him, so very excited. But like I said, this video is going to be about Just After Sunset, which, like I've said, is one of my all-time favorite Stephen King collections, and I'm going to attempt to rank them. It's been a while since I reread this. We, we recently wrapped this up a few months ago. I usually try to film the review and the rankings for the short stories right after I finish the book, so that all the short stories are kind of fresh in my head. But it's been a few months and I've been busy in my personal life and with work and all that other stuff. So you're getting it now. So it's going to be a little foggy, but I'm going to, you know, try my best here. I do know like my top three is pretty set in stone uh, and you'll see why. Uh, but yeah, let's just go ahead and get started. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. Coming in at the bottom of the barrel, number 13 out of 13, we have Graduation Afternoon. And like I said, none of the stories in here are bad necessarily. This is actually a decent story. The main reason why it's coming at the very bottom is because it's very short, very brief, and I can't really talk about like what it's about because saying what it's about is just spoils the whole thing. But once you figure it out, it ends very quickly. I think it would have had more of an impact if it would have been a little bit extended, but overall it's a little forgettable, still decent, but obviously my least favorite in the collection. Coming in at number 12, we have Stationary Bike. Which is kind of funny because when I first read this short story collection years ago, I remember this being one of my favorites. But this time around, it it was not one of my favorites. I, I found it to be quite boring. Uh, the premise is still interesting. This guy goes to the doctor, gets high cholesterol, so the doctor's like, you need to eat better, you need to exercise. So he buys this stationary bike and puts it in his basement. And then, of course, it's Stephen King, so weird stuff starts happening. And... It's got a cool premise, but kind of doesn't really go anywhere. I, I guess I was just misremembering or maybe confusing another short story, but 
this one was quite boring and quite long. And yeah, it's number 12 on the list. number 11 on the list i'm gonna butcher this name uh ayana ayana uh i don't know how to pronounce it but either way uh comes in at number 11 and i'll be honest i don't remember too much about this one i do know that it's about um a little i think like seven year old girl and she kind of has this supernatural power this guy is diagnosed with cancer and you know something happens Overall, very forgettable. I read it like months ago and it just doesn't have that much of a lasting impression on me. So for that reason, it does come a bit lower on the list. Now we're breaking into the top 10 list. Top 10 out of 13, but still pretty good. And basically the stories from this point on are like very good. Like these stories are all bangers. Uh, coming in at number 10 on the list, The Things They Left Behind. And this story takes place in 2002 and we're following a person who's having survivor guilt after surviving 9-11. And some weird things start happening when items and belongings from his colleagues from the World Trade Center start appearing in his apartment and he thinks he's going crazy and it's, it's a very interesting story and I really liked it uh and it just goes to show you that there's a lot of great stuff in here because I really like this story and it comes in at number 10 on the list. <laughs> Coming in at number nine on the list, we have the New York Times at Special Bargain Rates. And this is a pretty creepy and really good story because you have this woman who had recently just lost her husband in a plane crash a few days prior, but she starts to get phone calls from him. And presumably he's in some sort of afterlife. And where the story goes from there is pretty good. And yeah, this one has a great premise, great execution, and overall, great story. And number eight on the list, we have Rest Stop which is a pretty fun story for Stephen King. It's kind of his version of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. You've got this author character who's a bit timid and he goes to this, you know, rest stop. And all of a sudden he starts hearing this uh, pr presumably husband and wife start to get into some sort of altercation. And then something happens. And it's, it's just a really fun, goofy kind of story. I really liked it and it comes in at number eight on the list. And coming in at number seven on the list, we have the very first short story in the collection, which is Willa. And this one starts out the collection very good in my mind. It's a really good ghost story. You're basically following these two characters, wife and a husband, who are kind of slowly starting to figure out that they're dead. And it's a really cool premise, and I thought it was executed very well. And again, I think it starts off the collection and with a very good tone of like, these stories, you know, they're gonna be a little bit of horror, they're gonna be a little literary, uh, kind of a mi mishmash of everything, so. Great way to start off the collection and definitely one of my favorites in Just After Sunset.
and coming in at number six on the list, we have Harvey's Dream, which I tend to like horror stories and just stories in general revolved around dreams, usually, and this is an excellent one. Basically, you have a husband and wife, and this husband starts recounting this like horrible, depressing dream that he had, and the wife just gets this like mounting doom that this dream like could become reality and at the end of the story it's implied that it might just be true and yeah it was very good very gloom and doomy and i really enjoyed it cracking into the top five. These stories are excellent. I love these short stories. Four novellas. <laughs> uh, hint, hint. Uh, but coming in at number five, we have Mute. And this one is excellent. You have this guy going into confession, talking to this priest, and the priest is asking him questions about, you know, what's, how did you sin? Like, what's wrong? And he starts to go into this story of him pitching up, picking up this hitchhiker, who is mute and I really don't want to give too much away with this because it's it's really good uh but yeah it goes into some pretty dark places and yeah it has one of the better endings for Stephen King's short story overall excellent one of the best in the collection but obviously there's four more that are even better <laughs> in at number four on the list this is probably one of the funnier but but also disturbing king stories out there and it's also one that he wrote in the 70s but didn't get published until this came out and that would of course be the cat from hell and just like the the title describes it's a cat that is trying to murder people <laughs> and it's awesome and yeah i like i said night shift easily my favorite Stephen King short story collection and this definitely has that similar tone of like it's Stephen King writing horror but he's having a lot of fun with it and like yeah it's so much fun it's the cat from hell it's a classic So now we're into the top three, and if you've read this collection, you know that there are three Stephen King novellas, and I haven't talked about them yet until now, so that means my top three in this short story collection are actually novellas, which makes sense because I've, you know, since I've started this channel, I've said Stephen King is at his best writing novellas, and it's one of the main reasons why this is one of my favorite collections. These novellas are top tier. I love all three of them, and it's really hard to kind of put them in any order, so the order is kind of arbitrary, but uh, for number three, I'm going to go ahead and go with A Very Tight Place. And what is that very tight place? Well, it's a porta potty This is easily one of Stephen King's more disturbing and disgusting stories. Essentially, you get these two guys who get into this altercation, and one of them pulls out a gun and basically tells him to get into porta potty and is basically locked in there and can't get out. And the whole novella, this 80 page story, is him trying to figure out a way to get out and exact revenge on this guy. It's excellent. It's a lot of fun. Very gross, but definitely one of my all time favorites. <laughs> Coming in at number two, we have a novella that's simply titled In. 
And if you have not read this one, I definitely recommend it. I'm not gonna give too much away because the reveals are a lot of fun, but essentially you follow kind of in an apostolary style, this psychologist or psych psychiatrist and the patient who is suffering from major OCD and cannot function in life because of his OCD tendencies. And you start to get this reveal of this cosmic horror thing that's happening to him and it's really good and very creepy. Easily one of Stephen King's best novellas to date. And for number one, you know, I kind of always flip flop on which of these novellas I like better. But for now, I'm going to go with the Gingerbread Girl, my favorite in Just After Sunset, and overall just one of Stephen King's best novellas. Uh, and the reasoning for this, I think, for me personally, is because I think Stephen King, obviously, you know, he writes terrific novellas, but he also is very good at writing realistic horror. Obviously, he's well known for supernatural horror, you know, like It and The Stand and all that stuff, Pet Cemetery. But, you know, for my money, his scariest stuff is his realistic stuff, like Misery and Cujo. And this one is definitely very realistic. You've got this, you know, the gingerbread girl, this uh, woman who's recently uh, lost her child. And to cope with it, she starts uh, running, but she ends up getting kidnapped by this maniac. And she has to figure out a way to get out of the situation. It's very tense, very creepy and just overall excellent. So yeah, that's probably my favorite, although the top three are very interchangeable. All right, so that is my overall ranking for all of the short stories and novellas in Just After Sunset. And like I said, those three novellas are just top tier for me. And overall, this collection is just excellent. Like I said, kind of, you know, the bottom three stories are, are good. They're pretty good. They're not like spectacular. But there's also not any bad stories in here. They're all worth reading. Unlike Skeleton Crew, which obviously has top tier, like some of the best stories that Stephen King's ever written, but also have some Debbie Downers in them. Overall, it's my second favorite Stephen King short story collection other than Night Shift. Very, very good and definitely worth reading. And like I said, I've been down here for a minute. Starting in January, we're gonna kick off with The Bizarre of Bad Dreams starting January 8th over on the Bookish Drummer Discord. This is going to be very interesting because when I first read this, when it came out in 2015, which is like eight years ago, which is crazy, I did not love this one. It had a few memorable and good ones, but overall, I didn't love it. But it'll be interesting to see how I feel upon a reread. It's been so long. I'm a more mature reader, so maybe I'll like this one a bit more. What do you guys think? Are you guys excited to join us for the Stephen King for the Stephen King Short Story Book Club? Uh, have you read this before? Uh, if not, are you excited to read it? And also, of course, what do you think of Just After Sunset? What are your favorites and least favorites in the collection? What are your opinions on my ranking? Uh, am I crazy for having the novella so high? Is there anything that I put like really low on the list that is some of your favorites? Please comment down below. And of course. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and join the Bookish Drummer Discord, where of course, we've got a ton of stuff going on, including the Stephen, why can't I say this? The Stephen King Short Story Book Club. Go sign up for that. And yep, thanks for watching and have a fantastic day.